welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be completing this drawing here, but I'm gonna be transferring it on paper. So I was pretty much just sketching this down to do a Procreate drawing. So I was gonna do a lineless art style on Procreate, but I was like, I wanna do this traditionally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace over this drawing. I'm gonna trace it onto paper and I'm going to be doing the lineless art style traditionally using my Uhuhu marker and the Arteza liners. So I'm starting off getting my cardstock paper. I'm trying to figure out the right size. I think, I think that's okay. So I'm just gonna put it down, turn off my lights. Oh, there you go. You guys can still see what's happening here. So I'm just looking at the sides. Okay, I'm going to start tracing over this. Hopefully my paper doesn't slip. I totally forgot to show you guys the video, but I'll show you guys the video of me doing it once I'm done copying this. Oh. <laughs> I'm missing so much. Okay, I'm done. Let me put them lights back on. Ah, it looks so weird. Okay, video. I was gonna do a little full body thing, but it was looking ugly, so I left it alone. But there it is. Ooh, look at that nose. <laughs> okay, so I had this eye first, and then I made a little copy to see if I prefer this eye more and I guess I prefer this one more. I like it just looks different. So I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna lighten this up because I think I drew a bit too dark. I want to lighten it enough so that I can see but the pencil mark isn't going to be all distracting. Especially on the face. Okay so it's pretty light. I hope you guys can see that still, but I can barely see it, so it's okay. And I'm gonna be using my Ohu markers and also their new skin tone set for the skin. I will have another video reviewing these markers, but for now, I'm just I'm gonna be using them. It's just new colors, I guess. So yeah, there'll be another video coming up very soon. And this is the Arteza fine liners that I'm gonna be using to ink her even though it's a lineless oops, even though it's a lineless art style there is some lines indicating where things are so but it's not completely like it's not too dependent on the line it's mostly just shadows I think I'm just gonna pick out my colors that I want here these are just colors I might use probably not gonna use them all I have a huge chunk of space underneath here. I'm gonna cut it off. I'm just gonna be testing out my markers down here. That is a cute blush color. It's called Black Brown. What? Okay. <laughs> Actually, my first time trying these. This color, Black Brown? Why is this called Black Brown? I'll go with that one as the base color for her skin. I'm gonna start off from her ears. I got the base layered down. I wanna add in her blush. But what is a good blush color? Black brown color. <laughs> I feel like that's too light for her lip color. blush on here under her neck I'm actually gonna take this same lip color I'm gonna put it around the bottom of her eye and there we go nope she looks like she's bleeding out of her eyeballs and then taking this brown black color that I use for her blush, I'm gonna blend out her nose. I'm taking a darker color, this one here, R27, to add shadows. 
And that's going to be the darkest shadow for my skin. I'm just going to put this around her eyes as well. I want to give her green eyes. So let's actually put her eyes in since they're looking a little bit creepy here. I just took a darker green to add a bit of shadow on there. And I'm taking a really dark green. So it looks like that. I don't know, I think I want to make her hair blonde or I feel like that's gonna not contrast with her skin though. So I think I'll just do her hair blue then. I'm gonna make her hair blue. I like to add texture when I'm doing it digitally so I'm gonna add some textures on here. Here you go. Lots and lots of textures. You guys, do you guys see that little line? I accidentally flicked it. So wrong. Ugh, it's not that bad, but shucks. I'm just gonna hope. And then I'm gonna shade her eyes. Trying to be really careful around her. Okay, so I'm done with the base layer of the hair. I'm gonna go in with my medium shade. Now I'm just trying to blend, blend. It's not so harsh. I think that's the darkest I'm gonna go with the hair. I'm just gonna leave that like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use the darkest color that I have on her bottom lash. I'm just gonna make them really, really thick. Oh. Let's make them look creepy. <laughs> I don't know if it's cute or if it's creepy. You guys let me know. <laughs> How does that look? <laughs> I think there's something cute about it and then creepy as well though. Okay, so her bow, I wanna make it yellow. That's her bow, her funny little bow. I'm gonna color in her shirt yellow as well, but I do wanna add some type of a pattern on there. I'm gonna take this pink color not that pink color. I need a different pink color. Okay, maybe this one. I wanna add a pattern on here. There we go. The pattern looks a little bit weird, but it's okay. I need more shadows. I think now it's time to start lining this. So I'm grabbing my right Tezza liners. I'm gonna start off with the face. So I'm taking this color here. It's not a red, it's like a purple type of color. Like a purple pink. I'm 
gonna go with the brighter pink actually for her lips. Okay, I'm gonna take the green for her hair and I'm gonna add in the lines in this lineless art style. <laughs> Do our little highlights. I'm gonna put a big one in her eyes. Oh, okay, that is a bit too big. Maybe do it and peel it right off. Let's redo this. Ah! I'm gonna redo that. Okay, now that looks like it's popping out. I'm gonna dab that off. Though. I'm dabbing it so it doesn't stand out too much. Alright, so this is pretty much how the final piece looks like. And this is how I do my lineless, but it still has lines in there, art style. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, thanks for watching.